Good morning, guys. It's Valentine's Day today, so happy Valentine's Day. George and I went a little bit crazy last night uh, doing some Valentine's prep. <laughs> we had everything on the table and then it was just looking really crowded, so then we even extended to the floor. <laughs> we just wanted something fun for the kids to wake up to. George got these for me. So sweet of him. <laughs> kids wake up they'll be surprised there's my valentine <laughs> looking so cute in his matching sweatsuit and there's the ducks waddling around i'm really excited because later tonight we are going to drop the kids at george's parents house and then we're going to go on a dinner date um, I think we're going to Hotel Esri, which um, you guys might have seen that we went there just a few weeks ago. It's the place with the most incredible view, and it'll be really cool to see it at night. So yeah, it should be a fun, romantic evening and a fun day. Good morning, Valentine. <laughs> you look so cute because you're just dressed the perfect in the perfect color for Valentine's Day. Yeah. How's the compound doing this morning? That's good. It <laughs> looks good. Saw the ducks waddling by. I heard roosters. I heard a whole lot of activity out there. I heard pigs, cows, goats. Mm -hmm. It's always such a busy, active time in the morning. I'm usually still asleep at this hour. I usually, I don't know why I always tend to wake up around like 8.30 or 9, but I love when I get up early because the morning is just like a very exciting time. <laughs> I'm up by six. Yeah, George is like by gets six. up so early. I hardly even realize when he gets out of bed. I think you're usually up by six. Six, I'm up. Mm -hmm. He's up, and then I don't know why I cannot bring myself to get out of bed until around eight thirty. But I'm trying. I'm gonna try to break the habit and like re reestablish my sleep schedule. Because I like being a morning person, but I also like being a night owl. So I don't really know what to do about that. But yeah, if you'll get the bacon out of the freezer, that'd be great. Thank you. Thank you, love you. George is going to the freezer that we have in the storage room to get um, the bacon out of there. We currently don't have a fridge right now. It's usually right here. I just decided to randomly stop working a couple weeks ago and we thought that someone was going to come here to fix it but then it turns out that it had to go to Nairobi to get fixed. Um, so yeah, we've been fridgeless for a couple weeks now but it is in Nairobi now so hopefully soon. We have it back because it is pretty inconvenient, as you might imagine, but but we're doing all right. And at least we're able to still keep stuff out in the freezer outside. Thank you. But first I will make coffee.
You want to add your own sugar? Jack has decided that he's going to be the one making the uh, breakfast. The kids are still not even awake, so I guess they'll wake up to the smell of bacon. <laughs> That's one sure way to get them out of bed. Those are definitely organic help eggs. Yeah, it's like organic really eggs. Deep dark yellow. Mm -hmm. That goes good with coffee, huh? I guess mommy and daddy will have breakfast and then kids will have breakfast by themselves. Because <laughs> I'm hungry. The kids sleep in, like really sleep in till 9.30 sometimes. Now my appetite is gone. That is the epitome of life here in the village. Like one minute, <clears throat> one minute I'm peacefully cooking bacon. And then the next moment I'm forced to look at a queen mama termite. Good morning, little Valentine. Valentine. Oh boy. Thank you, Mommy. You're welcome. Daddy's outside, so you can tell him thank you when he comes in, too. Did you guys read your little heart notes? Yeah. Yes. What'd you say? I woke up as soon as I smelled the bacon. I know. Me and Daddy said, this will wake up the kids. Me too. Bacon. Mm -hmm. Happy Valentine's. Mm -hmm. Guys, your mm -hmm. hardest words on them are right here. Mm -hmm.
just finishing up getting ready for dinner. And I'm loving my little heart earrings for Valentine's Day. How perfect. <laughs> These kids are going to Juju and Intagu's house. We're gonna eat some dinner over there, probably some chapati. Just waiting for George to make his appearance and then we'll head out, drop the kids off, head to town. There he is. That'd be fun. I'm gonna toast it like toasted toffee. I'm gonna toast it like toast. Me too. But I want like toasted toffee. Come back for you guys tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, we don't like you. We don't like you. There's several beds in there. Uh -huh. That's what I'm saying too. There's several beds. You guys can stay in there with Juju. Get a little bathroom for breakfast as well. <laughs> Who wants to take this to Juju? What goodies did you get? I didn't see. Oh. Oh, yeah. Just the basics. The basics. You guys sure packed like you're staying overnight or for several days. That's how we live in. Good. Good. Okay. <laughs> Good, 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 good. There they go. Bye, guys. Bye. Love you. See you later. See you later. Have fun. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, let's go to town.
pray uh-huh. Even on the bad days I thank God for making me A grasshopper almost jumped on us and George thought it was a snake falling from the sky and he almost no, raining snakes. <laughs> and he almost pushed me down the stairs because he was so scared. No, <laughs> we are now leaving Hotel Esri. That was so much fun. I wasn't expecting I, I actually didn't know what to expect really um, with their Valentine's dinner. But it was so nice and delicious and such a beautiful romantic atmosphere and it was so much fun. Did you have fun? Absolutely. <sighs> we can't see you. But we had a really nice time and I hope that all of you guys had a happy Valentine's Day as well. And now we're gonna go pick up the kids and head home. So that's it for this vlog. Happy Valentine's, y'all. Happy Valentine's. See you next time. Stay beautiful. Stay beautiful.